Hello, Internet, and welcome to Combat Jack and Dallas Penn Go to the Movies. This is where we tell you which of the latest and greatest blockbuster films is worth your time and your money to go see in a the theater. Let's talk Godzilla. Ah, a reboot of the original series of kaiju monster movies starring Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen, and Brian Cranston, directed by Gareth Edwards. This movie is about the world's most famous monster, Godzilla, who's pitted against this ancient subterranean creatures that threaten human existence. Godzilla, king of the monsters. King of the monsters, I think. Did you? Did we ever see Godzilla in this movie? Well, I think, you know. Did he make a cameo? I think the thing about this movie is it's shot excellently. When you see destruction, when you see that nuclear plant come down, you believe it. Like, it's shot perfectly. Helicopters on top of helicopters on top of helicopters. Brian Cranston acting his ass off. You believe that there's a, a world-shattering Earth crisis going on. You feel the danger. You feel the death. You feel like the impending doom. This was a summer blockbuster by the numbers, but the numbers still didn't add up. There was an old guy in, in, in uh, Spy Magazine that said helicopters, explosions, and dinosaurs all make for a summer blockbuster. And this Godzilla movie had that. We had this, these ancient subterranean creatures who were uh, attracted the and enlivened by uh, radiation. The Mutu, they were Fantastic. called the Mutu. Fantastic, yes, that's right. They were called massive, unknown terrestrial Whatever. organism. Terrestrial organism, whatever they call the Mutos, the Mutos. Mutos. Fantastic, fantastic, great. We had helicopters on top of helicopters. Yo, th this Explosions. Is, this is a drinking game movie. Where Frat was kids? Godzilla? Frat kids, whenever you see a helicopter in this movie, take a shot because there were like a thousand and one helicopters in this you movie. Won't even, you won't even see Godzilla Let's by see. the time you're drunk. You won't, even see the, you won't even see Godzilla. But yeah, but what Dallas says is, at the end of the day, where's Godzilla? I'm gonna give Godzilla a, a C minus. I'm gonna go C minus for Godzilla. I'll give it a C because like I said, it was shot perfectly. They did what they wanted to do in terms of like, the destruction was real, it looked real. But America, stick to Cloverfield. Mm -hmm. Stick to Cloverfield, let the Japanese do what the Japanese do. Jap what I realized is in 2014, Godzilla is high tech, it's CGI, and it's man in the suit. It's mm -hmm. man in the rubber suit. America doesn't understand that. I think, you know, it's lost in translation. Leave Godzilla alone. Stick to Cloverfield. Create your own monsters. Bring King Kong back. But leave Godzilla alone. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, starring Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, and Jamie Foxx, directed by Mark Webb. Spider-Man slash Peter Parker is conflicted between taking out the bad guys as Spider-Man while graduating high school and spending time with his love interest, Gwen Stacy, played by Emma Stone. Things change for Peter when a new villain, Electro, played by Jamie Foxx, emerges and an old friend, Harry Osborn, played by Dane DeHaan, returns. First of all, man, where do we start, man? This movie is, internet, this movie is so bad. Storyline, bad. Drama, they, they got so much drama. Like, Peter Parker is dramatizing over Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy's bringing the drama about Peter Parker. Harry Osborn is like this real super effeminate dude that's not even threatening. Like, I feel like... Doing like, too much. I want to hear what Lord Jamar has to say about how <laughs> Sony effeminized the Green Goblin. In movies like this, they try to cram all of these super villains against the hero. Yes. I would have been fine if Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, was a Spider-Man versus Electro. We'd have been fine with that. Yeah. We'd have been fine with that because I tell you what, having Electro as this angry black man, I feel like that just feeds into all the stereotypes of, of oh man, once a black dude gets some powers, he's angry. He's mm -hmm. Go back into the recent archive, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. First two. One and two, one and two. Don't mess oh, with the, the comic third. books. Don't see this. I give it an F. Go back to the old Spider-Man cartoon. I give it an F. F you. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Don't go see it. Next up is Neighbors, a summer comedy starring Seth Rogen, Zac Efron, and Rose Byrne. This movie is about a couple with a newborn baby whose life in their newly purchased dream home gets turned upside down when they are forced to live next to a rowdy fraternity house. Porky's, Animal House, Revenge of the Nerds. Incredible, uh, iconic, frat boy comedy films. This was not one of them. This was not one of them. You know, the thing about this movie is a great premise. Um, Seth Rogen is a believable father and parent, and he's trying to be responsible with his wife, Rose Byrne. Frat, you know, you, the, the, the setup is perfect. 
there's drama, there's understandable tension. They got this newborn infant, and they want to keep the all they want to do is keep the noise down. Mm -hmm. And this frat, this frat house, what they want to do is beat the record. Just turn up. They want to turn up. They want to beat the record historically of that frat's 100 plus years of you know being a frat, and just in terms of like. And how, doing how, how, how outlandish they right, get. Right, right. How you outrageous know, can can they make their end of the semester party? There's a lot of sight gags. Uh, to me, the best scene. Not enough. To me, the best scene was when the guys had the Robert De Niro themed party, mm -hmm. and a black dude was playing Sam Jackson. Mm -hmm. I thought that was clever. Best scene for me, and my only laugh was uh, Seth Rogen sitting in the office chair, and uh, the airbag had replaced. Right. Uh, the seat for the office. But chair. even that, that was already spent in the trailers. We already knew that was coming. Unfortunately, unfortunately, when the best scene is in the trailer, there's nothing left in the movie. The only thing I nothing really left. did appreciate about Neighbors is that here you have this like historically quote unquote white frat, and it was pretty diverse. You had a couple of brothers in the, in the, in the fraternity, and they one seemed, brother. You had two brothers in the movie, and they seamlessly. They seamlessly played their role. They weren't stereotypically black. They weren't bucking their eyes. They weren't shucking and jiving. And the banter between the black character, one of the black characters, and the police officer played by Hannibal Burris was perfect. Wait for it on Showtime. Catch it on Hulu Plus. <laughs> Wait okay. for it on Netflix. <laughs> so I give this movie, what do you give this movie, man? Uh, I'm gonna give this movie a, I'm gonna give it a, a C, a C plus. I give it a C. I, I definitely give, a give this movie a C.